Do you ever wonder about your insurance coverage? Is it too little, too much, or do you need it as you approach retirement? If your answer is yes, then the good news is that by the end of this video, I will have gone through five points of discussion so that you can be aware of some of the things to consider in your retirement plan and as well as your estate plan. My name is Regan Schiller and I am the host of Your Canadian Retirement Specialist, a channel that is dedicated to providing Canadians with valuable content around all things retirement planning related. If you like this episode and you'd like to check out other episodes, and as well if you'd like to be notified of upcoming episodes, click the bell below and get the notifications. As soon as new content is posted, you will know. With the right insurance, you can take comfort in knowing that in the most difficult of circumstances, your home, your hard-earned savings, and your lifestyle you enjoy won't be at risk. And it can make good financial sense as a way to transfer assets from your estate without a large tax bill at the end. So really the question remains, what does the vision of the future include? Enjoying time with family and friends, pursuing your passions, or building a career? The possibilities are endless, but there are risks that you may not be able to avoid. Risks that can be devastating to your family, your future, and your dreams, especially if you're not prepared. So how do you make the right choices for your changing life? We all face risk throughout life. As time goes by and circumstances change, the risk change too. Insurance protection can help you manage many of the risks such as defaulting on your mortgage because you are unable to work, not being able to pay bills or support your family, having the money in your estate whittled away by taxes, a major disruption to your family's day-to-day -day life because of financial hardship. Starting out, insurance is often a basic solution design for paying off a debt or mortgage, funding an education plan, or replacing lost family income. As time goes by and life becomes more complex, insurance planning coverage needs to consider protecting family savings, funding a tax liability to the estate, and maximizing the after-tax legacy to your beneficiaries. As maturity brings a broader perspective into focus, things we never considered before become top of mind, like preserving estate values and having the resources to deal with medical and physical needs should our health suffer. Starting out with insurance, it's basically about income replacement. Then we move on to growing a career and family. That's where protecting your assets and protecting your lifestyle become important. And then you move on to retirement and estate planning. This is going to be focused on preserving your estate, ensuring lifelong comfort and care. Leave a comment below on your questions about your insurance portfolio and I'll do my best to answer them in an upcoming video. After this video, check out another video that I created called Vacation Properties to learn how you can successfully transfer it to the children in your estate plan. And if you want to get started, click the link in the video description to check out my masterclass on retirement planning to apply to become a client. Now, many of you may be thinking, insurance portfolio? What is that? Well, let's just discuss this for a minute. Life insurance is the foundation of a comprehensive insurance plan. But life insurance in and of itself can't do everything. The good news is that thanks to medical advances, conditions that may have once been life ending are now only life disrupting. And this is why an insurance portfolio needs more than just life insurance. Here is an overview of the elements of a comprehensive insurance plan. And working with a CFP professional, you will be able to determine what's best for you at your stage in life, as there are many options and features available to custom fit your personal insurance portfolio. So let's go through the basic concepts of the four main options. So we have permanent life insurance. This is for tax minimization, potential income planning for your retirement, your will, power of attorney, and trust planning term life insurance. This is a more basic, simplistic type of coverage that covers off debts, income replacement, and potential educational costs for the future. Life insurance is amongst the few assets that provide a tax-free liquidity to the estate precisely when necessary. Disability insurance. This is a more unique type of coverage that has definitions such as, but not limited to, coverage amount, inflation protection, guaranteed renewable, and a return of premium. 
then we have critical illness. This is a living benefit, much like your disability insurance, and its purpose is to cover off treatments, mortgage payments, possible renovations to accommodate your new needs, and also loss of income replacement. Life insurance, whether you are old or young, play a very important role in your overall retirement plan. For your family, it can allow them to remain in the family home, not have to change neighborhoods or schools, stay involved with activities, be able to attend post-secondary school. It can also help to ensure that your business can continue. You can support causes you care about, ensure that your legacy can live on, minimize the cost of paying taxes by your estate. Now there are two main types of life insurance. There's gonna be term life insurance. So this provides protection for a predetermined length of time or a term, usually 10 or 20 years at a fixed premium rate. The policy may be renewed after the term expires. However, premiums generally increase with age. Term life insurance generally provides protection until the insured is of age 80 or 85. Then we have permanent life insurance. So this remains in effect for your entire lifetime, as long as you continue to pay premiums. Permanent insurance may be either participating or a non-participating whole life or universal life. Both types may offer a guaranteed amount of insurance coverage for life at a fixed premium, a cash value that can be accessed during your lifetime or passed on to the beneficiaries. So how do these two types differ? Well, with participating life insurance, premiums from each policyholder are invested and used to pay policy claims and expenses. A portion of the residual earnings may be paid to the policyholder as a dividend. Universal and whole life insurance allows you to contribute to a cash value accumulation component attached to the policy. Universal life policyholders can choose the type of investments for their contributions. The cash value, including investment earnings, is not taxed unless it is withdrawn by the policyholder. Term and permanent insurance can work together to provide coverage that meets your needs for today and in the future. So disability insurance. Listen, we've all taken a sick day now and then, but what if your condition was much more serious and you couldn't go to work for a few months, a few years, or maybe even permanently? Would you have to dig into your savings or default on monthly payments? Disability insurance can help relieve the worry by providing an ongoing monthly income. Perhaps you already have some disability insurance with your employer or a professional organization. And don't get me wrong, this is a great start. But if you change employers, coverage usually ends. It also often falls short of the coverage required. Keep in mind that some policies will provide coverage if you cannot do your own occupation, while others will only provide coverage if you are not able to do any occupation. If your coverage is not indexed to keep up with inflation, your purchasing power will gradually erode. The amount of coverage should be adequate to meet all the needs of you and your family for an extended period of time. Whether you have no coverage at all, or you are looking to fill the gaps with existing coverage, a certified financial planner professional should be able to help you custom fit and tailor the coverage to meet your needs. So we have critical illness insurance. If you are diagnosed with one of the illnesses or conditions named in your policy, Critical illness insurance will pay a tax-free lump sum amount for you to use in any way that you wish. Depending on your coverage you choose, it can cover a wide range of critical illnesses such as cancer, multiple sclerosis, heart disease, and Alzheimer's disease. While disability insurance, it's important to maintain your day-to-day -day life, it cannot give you that extra amount you may need and want in a time of crisis. Critical illness insurance can help to pay for things like private treatment, household help, mortgage payments, business expenses, or a family vacation. So here are some interesting stats. 48% of critical illnesses and disabilities account for 48% of the mortgage foreclosures. And one in three Canadians will be disabled for 90 days or longer at least once before they hit age 65. With today's medical advances, people are far more likely to become critically ill and survive than to die suddenly. However, only 22% of pre-retirees have a critical illness insurance and long-term care insurance. Now, if you would like to have an assessment done to provide you with more clarity and awareness 
around how well built your insurance portfolio is with respects to your overall retirement plan, please click the link below to check out my masterclass on retirement planning. This is going to give you an in-depth look into our planning process as well. You'll have an opportunity to apply to become a client. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends, family and colleagues or anyone that you think would find value in this. And as always, thank you for watching your Canadian Retirement Specialist.